Thanks, everyone. Hi, Internet. I'm Steve the Cosmere Knot, and this is Raffo. Fanex 2023! I know this isn't Rhythm of War Cosmere Connections. I've been busy. It's coming soon. They're coming soon. And you thought Oathbringer was a lot. <laughs> anyway, I was at Fanex! This was the 10th anniversary year of the Fanex pop culture and legally distinct comic convention in Salt Lake City. And it was pretty excellent. Most of my time there was spent with the Grassroots Shakespeare Company. We had three separate performances, including two actual plays, Twelfth Night and Hamlet, plus a panel on Shakespeare's influence on modern pop culture. Plus the Cosmere Character Battle Royale panel with Melinda, Ammon, Amy, and Colby. I did try to live stream that on my channel, you can watch it if you'd like, but the video and audio quality is garbage. I couldn't get access to Wi-Fi, so I hotspotted my phone, and it, well, let's talk about the results! We constructed a bracket of the most powerful and varied individuals in the Cosmere, barring actual shards or sentient swords that could eat them, and paired them up in a fight to the winning either by death or submission of the other combatant, with the assumption that they in this situation would have sufficient motivation to do the thing and try and win. Hoyd was also off the table, because as he definitely wouldn't lose, he also couldn't win, unless the other person was a cognitive shadow. There were two slots open for audience votes, which ended up going to Yasna and Marsh. Who wants to see Tress? Marsh initially went up against Kenton, which would be a fascinating fight to see. They'd both be able to take to the air, with some potentially interesting interaction between white sand and copper or bronze. However, the fact that Kenton would try and use a sword was judged as a pretty serious detriment, so Marsh came out on top. Then it was Rayodin versus Yasna. Rayodin after Hope of Elantris, so up to a year after the end of his novel, and Yasna at the end of Oathbringer, at which point she's a full shardbearer. Rayodin can shoot fireballs, but then again, so can Yasna. And Live Plate and Blade would stand up against a lot. Yasna wins. Marsh then went up against Vin, which is a fight we've seen before. This is where the influence of audience votes really came to the forefront. Granted, no ATM on either side, and this is a Marsh free from Ruin's influence, but still, Vin should have taken it. They said death would win. I... okay. Then it came to Post Bands of Mourning Wax versus Dalinar as the Blackthorn. Even though he's the most feared warlord on Roshar, Wax can fly and shoot haze killer bullets through helmet visors. Sorry, Ammon. Having won her first bout, Yasna then went up against Kaladin. Don't get me wrong, Cal's good. This is Oathbringer Cal, not Rhythm of War Cal, so he's just got a Sil Spear and a lifetime of trauma. And Yasna's offensive soul casting is impressive. In terms of strict combat experience, though, the audience determined Kaladin would take it. If you kill me, you fail in your oath to protect the House of Kolin. Oh. Then, from opposite ends of the Cosmere, we had Vasher, no Nightblood, going against Sazed, mid-Hero of Ages. Pewter Brute Saze is indeed very scary, and with a full steel mind, he would also be very, very fast. Doesn't matter how fast or strong you are, though, if your own, typically very colorful, clothing starts to try and kill you. But again, the audience determined the muscle-bound ferrochemist would win. It's not that they're wrong, it's just that... I disagree, and I'm right. Semi-finals! Allomancer versus Allomancer with Wax and Marsh. Wax is a very powerful combination of Twinborn, but post-Hero of Ages Marsh is a good chunk of a Fullborn. While those Haste Killer rounds with the secondary explosions would be pretty good at blowing spikes out, Marsh is the literal embodiment of death. It'd be a good fight, but Iron Eyes takes it. Sazed then matches up against Kaladin, and I think this would be a little more one-sided. Seriously, it's hard to fight people if you can't reach them. And a gold mind is gonna drain real quick recovering from shard blade wounds. See ya, Saze. Finally, the final! Kaladin the Paladin versus Death himself. One is a fan favorite, the other is... He's a cool guy. Both could fly in their own way, both would be able to heal fairly effectively, both have significant combat experience. A swipe from a shard blade might be able to separate spikes and therefore cut Marsh off from certain powers, while a Duralumin-fueled soothing could just make Kaladin concede in a depressive spiral. 
Ultimately, the overpoweredness of Stormlight healing won out, and Kaladin became the overall victor. Really, not much of a surprise, but fairly satisfying nonetheless. So who do you think would win in a 1v1 bracket like this? Comment below if you think Allomancy would beat Breath, or Stormlight would stomp Ferrokemi, or if the Blackthorn would take it all. Thank you for watching! Thank you as always to my patrons! Who would win in a fight between Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, and Craig? No one. Violence is not the answer. If you would like to get your name listed with these lovely folk, see my videos early, and even peek at what I'm working on for future videos, support me on Patreon. I am actively sending out swag to my supporters, so if you want some most excellent stickers, pins, or even a t-shirt, sign up now. Cosmere Connections for Rhythm of War is on its way. There's a lot, and it's taking me a bit to sort through all of them. But more excitingly, we've got Secret Project 4 coming out tomorrow! Speaking of Cosmere Connections, there's going to be a lot. For a refresher on what we know already, click here. I can't wait to read and find out. So I got a photo op with some people? They're the Pawns, and my last name's Pond. And so it was a pond family reunion. It was great. Ha! <laughs> the end.